The ISO is bedonkers. Hello? <laughs> Good night! What's up guys? Welcome back. We're still, you know, and for the foreseeable future going to be in natural light. People are like, the light is shifting wildly. Oh my gosh, what's happening? I, you know, I try to color correct for it, but like my videos are sometimes close to an hour long and weather changes and clouds move and them's the breaks. <laughs> Hopefully it allows you to see it in lots of different color situations. But today, guys, we're gonna be playing with About Face Beauty. This is something that you guys have asked me to try and to review since there was even whispers of Halsey starting her own beauty brand on like trend mood on the internet. And it's been around for a while now. And recently she lowered all of her prices permanently. Uh, people have thoughts about that. I think that it's neat. It's fine with me. I, I think that, you know, accessibility is phenomenal, especially because these are really unique products. Like they're not regular like drugstore foundations and concealers and shimmery eyeshadows and things like that. It is mostly these kind of like painter-y type things. And I posted a, I reposted a video of Ash Levy playing with these. The ISO is bedonkers. Hello? <laughs> Good night. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so I reposted a video from Ash Levy and she was playing with them and doing just like this really, really beautiful, very painterly kind of eye look. And I was like, do you guys want me to try these? Well, I tagged the brand and the brand reached out to me and they were like, can we send you all of the fluid eye paints, the matte fluid eye paints? And I was like, yes, that would be amazing. And so they did, they sent me this huge box and it also had a selection, a pretty like large selection of these matte lip paints, right? Is that what they're called? Matte paint it lip colors. So I have done several looks using these and I've been sharing them here and there. Some of them just being very focused on one color of like the lips going with the cheeks and stuff like that. Or I tried to do something very painterly. I will post a picture of it here. And I do think that these lend themselves to that very well. The one thing that I have not tried yet is to play with the really like muted neutral shades, which there are a few of. Sorry, Hannah, I ended that sentence on a preposition. I do that a lot, of which they have many. <laughs> anyway, so I think that I'm gonna be doing that today. We're actually just gonna be doing like a full face. I might kind of zoom through it a little bit so that you don't have to like put up with me putting on a bunch of makeup that I put on all the time. Oh, hey, Burb. But uh, also I'm going to be using this as my base. And this is new from Urban Decay. They just sent this to me. So they sent this mysterious little questionnaire out. I loved it. They were like, here's a quiz of, you know, how you feel about these colors. And like, what are some of the colors in our original Naked palette that resonate with you? Turns out they were making these little edits of their three most popular shades from the original Naked palette. and they decided that I would like sin the best and they were right this is so beautiful and just like the naked palettes the original naked palette or any of the other ones it's easy to look at this and be like I've seen this a million times guess what that is what makes a practical palette okay this is an incredible little edit of colors and I really really have always loved the Urban Decay formula I used Urban Decay for my wedding. So I'm gonna be using this as kind of my really pretty neutral base today, and then we're gonna work on top of that. This, I shall say, could go sideways. <laughs> I have not actually done this specific look yet. So bear with me, and we'll see where this goes. Let's go ahead and jump in. I don't know what's breaking me out, but I'm going back to basics on the things I know I can count on, and this Tula SPF is the one. They're running, I think, like a friends and family right now. 20% off side wide or something. I will link that below. But this is the Mineral Magic SPF 30, I want to say. And it doesn't just give me sun protection. It also has their, you know, brand-wide probiotic kind of promises that I feel like helps my skin through the day. So it is like really overcast outside and pretty chilly. 
So I don't think it's like that big of a deal, but I always, always, always put on SPF. So for my complexion, I'm going to use the MAC Face and Body, my Item Beauty Concealer, and a little bit maybe of the Strub Cream. So let's go ahead and zoom through that really fast. some of my Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzer here in light. This has just been my go-to lately because it's such an even light. And I don't mean necessarily light in color. Yes, light in color, but also just light looking. You know, it doesn't go on heavily. Kind of formula. I realize I didn't finish that thought. <laughs> Just pulls a little bit of my freckle shade back in. You know, nothing crazy. I actually pull my hair back. Shocking, I know. Okay, let's go ahead and put on some of this About Face Eye Primer. This is the Shadow Fix Smoothing Eyeshadow Primer. And I have yet to use this, obviously, because it's still in the box. I have tried almost all the colors and several of the lips, but this one's, this one's new to me, so we'll see. I think it's just going to be kind of like the Fenty one, you know, it's got that kind of locking bit to it, or maybe, you know, Thrive or Urban Decay. See how, see how that feels. Yep. Ooh, I like that. It starts to lock down pretty quickly. All right, so the overarching thesis here for the products that I have gotten to try from About Face Beauty is it's they're pleasantly familiar in terms of the formulations like they don't do anything unexpected the matte lips behave like a very beautiful matte lip color it doesn't dry down all, all all the way to the point that it's going to like completely suck you dry but it dries down in a very very beautiful long wearing way and the eye paints very much behave like you know a a liquid liner or something that you might be accustomed to playing with from maybe NYX or the a little bit more like the Depixum pigments maybe something like that and when you're dealing with color like colors that are meant to kind of look like paint <laughs> they're not naturally occurring in your skin like blue and like bright green and stuff like that it's nice to have formulas that are also not weird. <laughs> you know, they're not finicky, they're not unexpected, they, they don't require a lot of thought to manipulate them. And that doesn't mean that they're necessarily like, you know, super, super uncommon, but I think when you look at like the price, the performance, the actual like saturation of the colors and how easy they are to work with, and the fact that I have not, since I have all of them, I have yet to, think of a color, reach for that color, and it not be there. The colors are really beautifully well informed. Like they have just the right kind of nuance to them. You know, you've got like this really great kind of violet leaning royal blue, but then you also have this phenomenal, like very pop art kind of, you know, super, super saturated sky blue. You have a beautiful kind of ballerina pink, but you also have this like richer rose pink. And so I that's actually how I like to operate when I'm painting too, is I love to take 
two colors that you would almost combine in like a color blocking situation like a like a light pink and a rose pink that you that can kind of play off of one another and it adds dimension instantly so even if you were to just dab one and then dab the other one kind of just offset from it you automatically get like a 3d effect so we will see if i can stay in my lane today <laughs> I'm gonna try. So I have the Naked Sin Mini here. I don't know how much these are gonna be, but I just think that that's such a lovely little edit. Fits right in the palm of my hand. Why are you? Why are you? Just why are you? Anyway, we're going to start with the shade Boring. <laughs> I love that. I love that it's called boring. And um, that's gonna just be outer V all the way up. Again, I'm just kind of building a a basic shadow and light dimensional thing here so that I can draw on top of it with some of these paints. I just want to be able to get a non-distracting backdrop and also be able to play with contrast a little bit. Painting, getting back into painting has really, really changed the way that I think about makeup. I'm more patient with it for one thing. I'm less perfect. I'm less kind of worried about what the rules are. And also I have like the same instincts I find between one and the other of the way that colors play off of one another. So I feel like they dovetail together more than I ever would have given them credit for. So there's boring. I also, I really, really love this shade Twisted. So Twisted is just this beautiful, like, it just looks like a medium brown. When it goes on the skin, it has a little bit of something kind of violet to it, just very, very ever so slightly, or even just rosy. I'm putting that on the A504 from the Angie Hot and Flashy. This is like my favorite little brush from that collection. It's so small. It's just so good at getting precise little spots. And there's always 10% off of BK Beauty at the bottom of every single one of my videos. In case you're already planning on buying them, make sure you get a little money off. And I am not being tedious here. The Urban Decay formula, the shadow formula is just so easy. It's so easy. That's why I wore it on my wedding day. I had the Born to Run palette, which I have had to since retire, but it had like every color under the sun and it was just like one fewer thing to worry my little self about when I was getting ready on my wedding day. <gasps> I hear a copper! Copper's been at camp. Come here! Bring me the dog! Copper, 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 copper. You got bigger! You got fatter. You got fatter! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, I missed you, little bud. Wait, I say hi, everybody. Look right there, Copper. You smell nice. Did they give you a bath? Yes, Hello. They did. You are. Oh, you are. Oh. Mm. Oh, sweet, sweet. Oh, yeah. You know they didn't want to give him back. <laughs> Okay, go with daddy. Okay, hi. I was catching up with my husband there. I'm just gonna take boring and I'm gonna do it on like a flat brush or something here and just go all, now just do it with a, a bluffy brush and just go all over my lid. Like so. Maybe not on the inner corner, but you know, just giving us something to work with. I do so far really dig that primer. I would use that primer again. It's a nice medium grip that you can feel with the brush that doesn't make the shadows skip. It just makes it feel really secure and locked on. And as always, I'll go through and tell you guys the prices of everything when we're done with the look. The look. By the way, um, the lighting is absolutely horrible on this side today. So if like there's really, really poor blending, it's because I can't see. So <laughs> we'll just call it art. Also, they sent this. This is a palette and they have a little palette knife as well. All right, so if we're gonna talk neutrals here, which I'm not sure we're gonna be able to talk entirely neutrals just because this is kind of, besides the white, that's kind of it. I was looking at the, oh my gosh. That's not neutral. That's like ochre yellow. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, so I am completely wrong. <laughs> Ignore everything that I said because I was really thinking that a lot of these lip colors that I was looking at, because the packaging is so similar, you kind of have to like study it for a second. The lip color packaging is very, like it's, it's just got the same lid and then it's like a clear package instead of the opaque package. Is that metal? Huh, anyway. Yeah, so, wozers. I'm gonna go for the yellow. It might be a little bit wild, but we're gonna do it. Okay, so. The first thing I want to do is take a little bit of the white and I'm going to put that on my inner corner. A very Bjorky moment. Anytime I put white right on my eyes, I feel like late 90s Bjork. And that's going to dry for a second. And then I'm going to blur the edges. And then that's going to serve as a backdrop for the bright yellow on the inner corner. They have like a really, really cooperative amount of time before they completely dry down. I don't find them difficult to work with at all, at all. Nice, right? So then I'll take, well, oh, we'll let that dry. <laughs> I'll take the yellow and I'm gonna take that on the same brush. And I'm gonna leave some of the white and let the yellow really glow. Like that. Ooh, it's starting to look kind of uh, butterfly y, huh? And I am going for symmetry because the last time that I, I didn't, I feel like it was so busy that it just kind of distorted everything and didn't look like I was paying attention to my eyes up at all, you know? And I do want it to still look like an eye look when I'm done, you know? And I also think that it'd be cool if she had. And she might, I think she does actually have like liquid sparkles, those packages, those flat plastic packages. I don't know what it is about them, but they really like, they kind of weird me out. All right. So this is that weird gold. This is called light transcending. And I think that I'm going to just kind of blend it up into here. Maybe let's find out. Get something really, really pretty and soft. Kind of a, kind of a blobby shape. Be mindful of the drying time on these because they dry fast, but you do want to kind of keep your eye closed while they're drying, unless you don't mind it kind of stamping upwards, just like anything else that's wet, you know? I'm gonna grab a little more of my yellow here. Kind of get something a little bit soft and bright. Like I said, I like to use colors that are close to each other because then when you layer them, it makes like an automatic effect of dimension. And then I have to rely on my little bent brush from Sigma because this thing is incredible. <laughs> and this is gonna be like the way that you can put detail in, so. And I'll pull my white out. White is such a great thing to lean on, right? It's just a really, really excellent go-to when you're not sure where to go next. So this might be where things get a little bit more organic eye to eye. You 
in my paintings, these th tend to take on this kind of tear upside down teardrop shape or sometimes like a little, like a triangle, almost like an arrow shape. And um, I call them my little ghosties. <laughs> I'm like, uh oh, here come the ghosties. <laughs> They're like in my painting and sometimes they're there and sometimes they're not. Sometimes my little ghosties show up without really my consent. So there's that. I kind of want to make that a little bit softer. So these are really, like I said, they're really, really easy to manipulate and play with. So I'm leaving a little bit of boldness there. Almost like a kind of organic dappling effect, like a butterfly, basically. And on this eye, I'm going to mimic it, but it's going to be a little bit, just a little bit different. Like that, maybe. I'm like, oh, it's gonna be neutral. Hmm. Like I said, ignore everything. Ignore, ignore all that. All right. I'm going to zoom through the rest of my makeup, my eyebrows, my cheeks, my eyeliner, my mascara, and everything. And then we will come back and talk about lips and make some decisions because these lips are gorgeous. I'm loving it. I do, I kind of want just a, like a teeny tiny bit more. Let's see if there's any, can I do that? Yeah, there's a little bit of yellow out here to kind of like bring the illusion. Kind of like, kind of like that. But like, say I won't wear that out. <laughs> say I won't wear that to lunch, I absolutely would. So that's, the finished eye look. Now, all we have to do, oh, I wanted to tell you what I used on my cheeks. So that was the Milk Makeup Bionic Blush in the shade Infinity, and then I topped it off with a little bit of Eros, which has quickly become my favorite kind of like weird shade. It's like bronzer that also looks a little bit ruddy, and it's from Ritual Defeat. I likes it. I do think that it's a site exclusive, so I think you have to go on the Ritual Defeat website to buy that. Okie dokie. So we have a bunch of these gorgeous lip colors as well as corresponding or semi-corresponding lip liners. And I put one video of myself wearing the coral shade on my Instagram and I had friends and strangers alike messaging me and being like, this is incredible. So these really, really pack a punch, but I love due to the opacity of the actual formula. 
you can wear almost any of them because it's not really about whether it goes with your skin, it's about whether you want to wear that color. You know what I mean? It's, it's paint. Well, dadgummit, y'all. What is wrong? I dropped it on the floor. There is a very neutral shade for the eyes. Can I am fired. 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 <laughs> Also, I added Moonstone from Bobbi Brown just to kind of the little bright spots because I was like, oh, it looks like butterfly wings and butterfly wings are kind of iridescent. Like they've got that really lovely like shift to them in the light. I'm so freaking mad that I <laughs> put that on my eyes. Ah, <laughs> okay. Well, there is a lip paint of a very similar shade. So maybe we'll just do that. Although this does beg for like a glossy lip. If you were screaming at me the whole time, like if you're an expert on the line and you were like screaming at me because you're like, I thought you said you had all of them and you didn't use the one that's neutral. I really apologize. It's called Capulets. I might still end up putting just like a tiny bit of it in my eye look. We're gonna get the lip on first though. So like I said, you know, this was probably I think the first one that I, yes, this is Canyon on Fire. And it's not gonna go with this look, but it was outrageous when I had a lot of other coral things going on. So this is this lip pencil. It's called Happy Endings. Yeah, and I'm gonna do that. Oh, it's light. I hope this doesn't end up too orange. And this is called Sad Song. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that's light. They smell a little bit minty. That's pretty orange. I'll see what I can top it off with to kind of tone it down. Yeah, I think that that's actually gonna add some really beautiful dimension to it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of like dappling with that shade that I promised you guys and then I felt like maybe I was losing my mind that it didn't exist in fact and it does actually. Thank you for bearing with me and my not so reliable memory. Ew. <laughs> I think that that's beautiful. It's kind of like an actual like real freckle. Can't really see it on this eye. And that's okay. It's organic. That's the lip all frozen down. I think that the best thing to do here is to top this off with something very, very similar, which is the lip oil in cookie from, what's this, In Beauty. It's just that much more pinky neutral while that color was trying to go a little bit too peach. Needs a little bit of bronzer. We never actually, we did officially bronze. Yeah, we did. What color? I think I'm gonna go with my MAC bronzer here, just cause I feel like it really is lacking that little bit of depth. And I might also need some contour. I always think I can get away without contour and I am almost always wrong. This is a vibe, I'm here for it, I like it. I think if I were gonna wear this to lunch, I would just go for like only the lip glaze on my lips, not two kind of like very solid colors like that, but you know, that's why this is a review. <laughs> Give her a spritz. With Fix Plus. And I think that that's it, y'all. I think that's the vibe. Let's go through the prices. And you guys can take a look at my, you know, impressionist painting I did on my eye. All right, so the matte fluid eye paint, $16 a piece. There are 26 shades 
available, which makes me think they didn't send them all to me because holy macaroni, I don't think I got 26 of them. There is the Matte Fix Lip Pencil, which is what I am wearing right now. And there are a ton of shades in this. There are 22 shades in this. And that is $12. We are almost to like ColourPop prices at this point. There is the Paint It Matte Lip Color. And there are 23 shades in that. There is the Shadow Fix Eye Primer. $13. You can do lip duos of the Painted Matte Lip and the Matte Lip Pencil for $28. I definitely invite you to explore the website, but these are definitely her marquee products, these matte finish, brightly colored items. Okay, so the Naked Sin mini palette that I use is $29, and you get 15% off your first order if you order through um, the Urban Decay website. So yeah, gentle reminder, all this stuff was sent to me in PR. I am ready to give you guys my final thoughts. I'm going to take my hair down. Just starting off with this Urban Decay little mini palette, the Sin palette. Again, they have Foxy and Half Baked. So Half Baked is going to be based on a much more like rich, warm browns kind of uh, color palette. And Foxy is like these beautiful golds and greens. I really like the, just the edited nature of it, but also that it still feels like the Naked Mini palette. But I do think $29 is a little bit much. I would say like 24, 25 would be like perfect for something like this. But I also do understand that I, am living in a time period where we are having inflation and we have lots of um, supply chain issues and things like that. So 15% off if you order through their website and it's like your first order through the Urban Decay website, things like that. And I just really think that this is such like a user-friendly format for someone who isn't me, who isn't, you know, always going to pull out 800 eyeshadows to get one look. If you are like a normal makeup user who likes to throw their makeup in a bag and you still wanna get like a few different looks but you wanna work in a palette that you know is gonna look good on you based on things that you might be familiar with like the really, really, you know, commonly loved shades from the original Naked palette, this could be fantastic. I think it's a great idea. As far as about face, ooh, hmm. Mm, the in beauty tastes good. Anyway, I think that the eye paints are a much more digestible format of something like the Depixum pigments. The Depixum pigments, if you're unfamiliar with those guys, I don't even know if I, yes, here's one. They look like they're very geared towards an artist. Do you know what I mean? Like it looks like it's supposed to be a, you know, a tube of oil paint kind of thing. And you do have to squeeze it out. It doesn't come with its own applicator. You need to have your own brush. You need to have your own like mixing situation. And then these are just so much more like dibby dab, <laughs> throw it in your bag kind of friendly. There's not that odd like mental preparation for having to use one. You can just like pull it out and get the job done. One of the things that I have trouble with when I'm painting on a canvas is getting something to pop. And it's so nice to be able to pull out something when you want pop on your face <laughs> and be able to really, really achieve it super, super quickly. And I think that that's what these do really well. Do they have a super brand new to me, blow my mind, make me think differently about makeup innovative kind of formula? No, but I think that that's their strength. Their strength is that they do exactly what you expect them to do. They dry at the speed that you want them to. They blur at the edges the way that you want them to. You can build them and get a really pretty kind of like, you know, greater saturation effect out of them like you would expect that you could in a very, very easy way. The colors don't like dry weird. And I really like the colors. They're nuanced, they're interesting. I always say, that like makeup artist owned brands tend to be like borrowing someone's experience, right? It's like, okay, this person does this really, really well and they have developed products to accommodate the way that they like to do makeup. The celebrity owned brands can kind of go, you know, they can go cash grab, but then they can also go, these are the products that I love using. And there's something about this that, especially the color story of it, like the actual spectrum of the shades, speaks so much to Halsey's habits of doing her own makeup and the colors that she wants to use and things like that. Like they just, seem like something that she would have created for herself because she likes using things like this. And so they're a very, very well-conceived, well-executed version of that at a great price. And I just think that for, for the price, for the colors, for everything, like it's a really, really phenomenal, like elegant solution for it. And you can get something really, really cool out of it. As far as 
these guys, the lips, I love these colors. The colors are very different. Like this one is actually called Saint Sangria. Like this is the color that I just crave wearing, right? I really find all of the shades of the lips to be really like attractive to my eye. And again, they're not really, from a cosmetic standpoint, the most intuitive colors. It's not like, oh, that's something that like someone with uh, brown hair and blue eyes would look good wearing or something like that. It's more about whether you want a really beautiful solid pop of a certain color on you as if it's, you know, painted there. And it's a very reliable formula in that sense. It's very much like the matte liquid lipsticks that we're used to, except that it does have a little bit more of like a creamy thing to it. And that makes it easier to wear with masks if you're still masking where you are, things like that. And also you can throw a gloss on top of it and it's going to be extremely long wearing, like a very, very pretty color. So love these as well. Again, love the price point. And then the lip liners are awesome. They're like the perfect like Goldilocks between something really, really creamy and something really, really stiff. Again, it feels like she said, you know, I like this about some lip liners, like this about other lip liners. Let's put that together because I can't really compare it to anything specifically. It's a little bit smoother than the Victoria Beckham, but it's not as soft as like the Thrive, for example. And it's still a little bit, a little bit creamier, I feel like, than the Patrick Ta. Patrick Ta's are a little bit waxy. And it's just a really, really nice, like, you know, wooden sharpenable, much easier on the environment kind of delivery system. So so I also really love how easy it is to recognize each color. That's so nice. Like, yes, these are very similar packages, which you, some people might have, you know, think that's a great thing. Some people might think that that's a little bit like hard to manage in their brain, but I get it. You know what I mean? I get why they would do something like that. I do feel like that's a very unifying kind of aesthetic, but I also just love that every single shade is in the package of the exact color that is inside. And so, you know, like it's so quick. You don't have to think about it. You just grab it and it really does feel like brain to skin. You know what I mean? There's not a lot of steps in between. And it's little stuff like that, that just, again, speaks to someone wanting something to exist. And so they decided to create it. And I really, really enjoy that about it. So yeah, I want to thank them for sending these. I don't know that I would have had the courage to explore the colors that I have explored so far with these had they not sent them to me and I just love like the nuance of like an ochre on my eyes and being able to use a lot of the like painter techniques that I you know my instincts and stuff that I apply to the canvas on my on my face it's a lot of fun so yeah I hope that this was like fun and exciting and a cool demo for you guys today this very like yellow happy butterfly kind of thing that I have on my eyes. And uh, yeah, if you did enjoy this, please do give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, guys, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you did. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.